A production possibilities curve is a model that shows the trade-offs society makes regarding its use of its resources to produce certain goods and services. This production possibilities curve, which is also called a production possibilities frontier, shows a trade-off between devoting social resources to healthcare or devoting them to education. At A, all resources go to healthcare. And at B, most go to healthcare. At D, most resources go to education. And at F, all go to education. Both the individual opportunity set or budget constraint discussed previously and society's production possibilities frontier show the constraints under which individual consumers and society as a whole operate. Both diagrams show the trade-off in choosing more of one good at the cost of less of another. The production possibilities frontier also differs from the budget line in its shape. It is a curve and not a straight line. The reason the production possibilities frontier curves is because of the law of diminishing returns. This law states that each additional unit of resources committed to produce a certain product will give you a smaller marginal benefit as a result. The curve in the line is the lessening or diminishing effect as the resources are allocated to one type of good over another. This model gives us insights into the efficiency or inefficiency of a society's use of resources. Productive efficiency means producing goods using the most productive method and not underutilizing resources. Thus, all choices along the given production possibilities frontier like B, C, and D display productive efficiency. But point R inside the curve does not. Allocative efficiency means that the particular mix of goods being produced, that is the specific choice along the production possibilities frontier, represents the allocation that society most desires. The U.S. production possibilities frontier is flatter than the Brazil production possibilities frontier, implying that the opportunity cost of wheat in terms of sugarcane is lower in the U.S. than in Brazil. Conversely, the opportunity cost of sugarcane is lower in Brazil. The U.S. has a comparative advantage in wheat, and Brazil has a comparative advantage in sugarcane. Comparative advantage means that a country can produce a good at a lower opportunity cost than another country. This concept is important in regards to international trade. 